Okay, now we have the volume of distribution and an exhausted person who's giving a lecture on it, who doesn't know much about it themselves. <laughs> anyway, volume of distribution, as we said before, we've got a compartment. I'm getting really tired of these compartments. Uh, we've got a compartment, yeah? And inside it, we've got plasma concentration and we've got the amount of drug that is distributed in it. So we can say that VD is equal to DB by CP because volume of distribution over here is equal to the drug that's uh, getting distributed inside and the plasma concentration in which it is being distributed. Now normally you find uh, the plasma concentration by extrapolation. Um, when you make a graph, you make a dotted line backwards. Okay, we'll just cover that in graphs, right? So when we rearrange this equation that we have, we're taking the drug on the side, right? And then we have dB is equal to Vd Cp. Now, if you think of it, if we want to make an equation of this, and it's volume of distribution, what you need is like, uh, okay, you need the drug, obviously, that's being distributed, we need the plasma concentration, we need the time, and we need the elimination. So if you remember, in the elimination rate constant, we had an equation like that before. So the, that equation, it was d, db divided by dt is equal to minus k db. Right? We already had this equation in the elimination rate constant, so why just not use this and get rid of it quickly? So what we're going to do, we're going to use this, and the value what we've just uh, taken out, dB is equal to VDCP. We can insert this value in that equation. So when we put this value in that equation, we get d, dB divided by dt is equal to minus k VDCP, right? If you can look at it as a whole, then you'll find out. Then what we do is we're going to rearrange it, right? So we can just take the drug all on the side. The drug always wants to be on the side. It doesn't get along with anyone at all. So <laughs> what we're going to do is db not. Uh, what we did is we took dt to the other side. And it was dividing over here, so obviously it's going to go and multiply over there. So we have db not is equal to minus kvd cp and dt. Now what we're going to do is uh, integrate it. Please tell me you know about integration, please. Otherwise I'll cover it in the next lecture. You can just leave a, com a comment below. God. So what we have, when we integrate it, we get CPDT on a side, right? Now CPDT, when you integrate it, it represents the area under the curve, right? So what we're going to do, I said the drug always wants to stay on the side, right? So we have db is equal to kvd and cpdt is going to be replaced by area under the curve and then we can rearrange this equation to take volume of distribution out of it so when we take volume of distribution to the side right we are rearranging it and what we're going to have is whatever you know when it uh, ever you take it on the other side if it's multiplying it's going to go and divide so what we did is we're going to take a k a u c and it's going to be divided by d not right d not is on top i hope you don't get confused i'll just do it again so it's v d is equal to d not divided by k area under the curve like just keep it simple just don't make it so complicated for yourself. We just got one equation, what we had before in the elimination rate constant. We put the new dB values that we had in it, is VDCP, right? We just simply rearranged it, integrated it, and then we rearranged it again, right? Please don't get confused in this. It's actually simple. Just practice it out and do it, and you'll get to it. I'm sure. <laughs>